Hello. Um, there are many. Well, apparently, I've had my Samsung um, Galaxy Tab Three, um, which I'd been using for you know my storing my pictures and um, my artwork on. And um, so, if anybody asks me um, about my artwork, I just could load it up and show them on the tablet and um, also <clears throat> when I'm painting I put the in order to save you know from printing uh, my digital pieces if I want to paint them um, I load them on the tablet and um, and use as a reference um, on the tablet and then I paint now the funny thing is um, there was an update from because it was originally came with a uh, Android Jelly Bean on, and um, it really came with a uh, Jelly Bean, and then there was an update to KitKat, and uh, apparently KitKat is not good uh, for the tablet. Um, the specific tablet um, it just runs slow um, for the stuff that I need to do because I've got like a 32 gigabyte SD card which I had put in here <clears throat> and um, in order to browse the photos and images and everything it was just slow and um, when I had um, when I had um, what do you call it I had uh, Mass Effect, I played Mass Effect on here, um, not the PC game, but the Android one, Mass Effect, and also I played Aliens vs Predator, and it ran pretty decent um, on this uh, tablet, but um, sometime in the game when I was playing the Predator, uh, the tablet would crash, and I don't know what was causing the crash, it could be... Um, a hardware issue, but because um, um, it because it it just hasn't got enough much power as the the iPad, but it does the things. Um, but um, with the new update of Android, it um, it just became so slow and it battled to respond to gestures and things on the screen. And it was just driving me mad. Like I would want to, I go to the studio. I want to call up a um, an image of my pay, of my digital piece, which I had stored on the SD card. And um, it was just take it would take forever to load, and um, it was driving me mad. So I thought I'd uh, restore it to factory. Um, it didn't restore it back to Jelly Bean, but it restored it to a clean install of um, a KitKat. Then I tried to go on, to, on their web to find um, solutions of downgrading the tablet. That's a, 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 an 8 uh, inch, and this is a 7 inch. Uh, a seven inch one so um <clears throat> so um it seems to be a problem with the specific thing because people are wanting to downgrade their devices because they didn't realize that um they didn't realize that um kitkat would be a bit of a, a problem um with um the specific uh, dev device so, what I what I've done was um, I, I got so fed up, and I decided to get myself an iPad. Um, I've had an Android um, phone originally before I got my iPhone, which I'm using for the video. Android, uh, it was a Samsung as well. Um, the problem I found with Android is um, when it, when things update, it just, it just gets a slower. It just gets slow, and um, as so, so I got the iPad, 
Um, and um, the, I wanted to get an iPad because I was happy with my iPhone. It's an iPhone 4S. It still runs smoothly, uh, and it and it does things. What it, it when I wake up, wake it up. It it it, it, it um it um responds quickly uh, compared to um my cat is just running around like a mad thing. Um, it gets a bit irritating when he does that. Anyway. Um, and I'm losing my concentration. So, uh, um, where was I again? Um, so I, so I decided to get an iPad, and I've got a Mac. Um, and I found that, um, you know, I know you get people who like prefer Android, and people prefer app, um, Apple. Um, there's various reasons why, but I noticed that Apple. Um, has very good hardware and the hardware is very durable compared to um, Nari and stop it other devices um, and which means you could actually uh, because they've got a, a best reta a, a reseller value like if they get if you if you want to get a new device and you want to sell the old device um, you're more likely to get something out of it than if you had used a Samsung or some other thing, yeah, it's my fingernails, screen is cleaning, so, um, so, I've got the thing, so, I've tried to, so, I've got the iPad, and then I tried to, uh, resell the, the, the Samsung, and the, the thing is, because of this problem, I think, it is, no, no second-hand shop wanted to take this in, so I could get a, a bit of money back out of this um, device, so I instead I'm using um, this. Uh, it, it, you, you apply online to sell your device, and they send you a package. Um, I thought I'd get a, a uh, proper. Still, I still need to get a box in order to uh, post it because uh, I don't have my box for this this device because I thought I'd. I'll have it for life, and I'll I'll have it until it stops working, basically. Uh, because I just don't like I'm not like the type that actually buys something and when it gets, um, uh, even though it's still working, go for a new thing. But what um, Android and Samsung have done here. Uh, it gave me no option um, because when I tried to wanted to downgrade back to Jelly Bean so that this thing device could work properly they've basically put a block on the um, the bootloader um, which makes makes it almost impossible to downgrade and uh, when I'm hearing this this is why I got the iPad um, the problems with the iPad right, right Everything works well with it, and uh, because it's second hand, I actually ha tested it in the shop before I bought it. Um, this one is a um, normally it's an iPad 2, I got it second hand. It would be, would have been the same price if I got a brand new, uh, newer model of um, Galaxy Tab. Um, uh, this one actually got 100 quid second hand. And this one I got 180 quid second hand. Where if I went to the Apple store to buy this, it would be over 300 pounds. Just put the focus back on again. Um, it would be about 300 pounds, which is, is too much because I've already, I've already spent quite a bit on my credit card. I got a new weight suit and everything. And it would have made my credit card a bit more higher. But... Um, I had to get it because I've, this this thing just became unusable for me. It works, but it's just it was just damn slow and irritating. So now I got I got the iPad. Now, um, as as you as you can see with the, did I turn this off? So I'm going to turn it on. So I'm turning the the iPad on. It's got a better screen as well, and everything, so I can get more details because of the Retina display and all that. Um, um, 
It's one of the things nice about Apple, the hardware is very well built and I'm wanting something that I could use until it dies completely. And this is what I, I was going to be using, but if I was, if I knew about the um, Jelly Bean KitKat problem, um, I would have not upgraded and I would have stayed on Jelly Bean and I would be still using this device. Um, so and the the shops just don't want to hand it in, have it in, and um, which is quite annoying. As you can see, I've jailbreaked it, so I've got had a f I've got a few customizations. I put the the dock. Um, it's just saying I've got no SIM card in because it's a a um, a um, a um, Wi-Fi and uh, mobile SIM. Um, I wanted to get a SIM card for it, but. You know, it, it's been hard um, wired for, um, it's been hard wire for, um, um, it's hard wired for O2, which is a British uh, mobile phone company. And um, so I'm restricted to get um, O2 SIMs only, so that's a bit of a, but it, it's got Wi-Fi and this was just Wi-Fi only, so if, and I wanted to get the SIM, but I don't like the deal, because apparently I wanted to get the cheapest option where uh, I could just get like about 500 megs, and um, and then if I get one gig, it's £10 a month. If I want to get 500 megs, it's eight pounds a month, and I don't see any logic uh, in that. Or where I feel it should be five pounds a month for the five because it's divided in half, so it would be logically correct. But as commercial and my money stuff goes, it's very confusing, illogical, and I don't think I'll get it until because I went to the shop and I complained how illogical it was so I I probably would wait for a better deal but it's not a trade smash and or I might probably just go into the, the Tesco's and just pull out a SIM card um, and that'll probably be there and then I load money on it whenever like a pay-as-you-go thing still getting conned by the um, dealer Basically, um, okay, I had to jailbreak this device, and the main reason is because of my SD card. This is 16 gigs, and this is 8 gigs, but I had a 32 gigabyte SD card with micro SD. And um, Apple doesn't have a Find app. See, I've got like a because jailbreak, I could get this Finder app. Um, where you can browse your files and folders. Um, so, so that's why I um, had to jailbreak it because Apple hasn't. So, if you use your camera, I'm just going to get there, just put the phone there, right? Um, Say, so if I, you know, as I'm getting the camera kit. Um, this is uh, the camera kit where you put the SD card. Uh, they don't have a micro SD card one, which I think would have been more convenient if Apple made a micro uh, SD card one. So I had to get a, well I've originally got adapter because when I bought the micro SD I got the adapter so what I would put in the computer and transfer files with there and then there's the micro the 32 gig with all my stuff on it which I originally had in the Android tablet um, I had a problem um, with reading this even I've got it set out I'm just going to clean the connections because I put my finger on it so um, I put it in I put the in and then um, and then I plug it in through the port at the bottom. Just close that. Um, because it's jailbreaked and iOS 8, I had a bit of a. Um, it was I don't know how I jailbreaked it. I used a Chinese program to do it. 
and um, I just did it by feel and um, and um, when I managed to jailbreak it was like quite a surprise and uh, it was a, a success because I think you could only because it was uh, because this is iOS 8 uh, point something and uh, I basically um, um, jailbroke it so I can actually have the the files um it doesn't load the um the um the, the photos app automatic because of because it's been jailbroken it wouldn't do it as if if you haven't broken it jailbroken it it would have just loaded the um the photos app so what we do is just manually load the photos app <clears throat> and um you have to do it so that the that the device reads every time we put it in um, with the version jailbreak version seven, you don't have to do it. Does all automate. So you you load it up, okay, and then you just don't close it. You just put it away. You keep it there, and then you open the Finder, which is actually I fell from Sidia. I'll go into that near the end of the video, and there you can see your flash drive. Um, so then in, when you click on that. You got to have a DCM, all your stuff in a DCIM folder, because um, just to increase the chances of it reading. And then you got your your files and photos and everything. So um, you got your files and stuff, and then you can also have other stuff like um, other files. Um, Let's go to uh, video. You got some videos on there. For example, my dancing elf. Um, so you got all. So I'm reading the files directly from there. Um, the actually, I didn't order to close it. So uh, what other? Okay, not video. Say if I want to go to documents, I've got like some PDF files. Um, uh, you go and you open P. You got like PDF viewer, web viewer. You can even open it in Kindle, because uh, that's what the thing is. But it because you browse because the other ones imported like like what the like if uh, imported, where the this one just browse on the disk, so it gives you an idea. But if you want to, uh, you know, copy and read it, it imports it, and then you got to clear it out once you've finished. So there we go. We we we've, we've opened a PDF ebook, um, intelligent design by Rail. So I've got that there. So you can actually, how did I close it? Okay. When you close it, it doesn't. Uh, yeah, it ejects the disk. So you got to close that. You just got to open the Photos app again in order to mount the disk um, just load the, the thing just got to load the photos and it will give you the option to import normally just keep if you got the files just keep one file that you've actually taken from an iDevice such as an, uh, even your tablet or your iPhone see I've got there um, as a just the key factor for registering and then you load then you got your, your your flash drive access again so there we go um, so I've got, I've got access to my photos and then I've also got um, with stuff um, I also keep my website backed up on here so I've got my whole website files as well um uh swift files i don't see i've only got, I, I can't really view that um so um but html pages and things like that work but they don't run flash um or they don't even open through the the flash browser uh which is photon which i've got installed there this safari and photon this this browser has flash compatibility 
so so actually as I say um I got this i file from Cydia. Um Cydia is like when you jailbreak you get this Cydia which is like an app store which gives you the you can where you can download tweaks and all that. So the main reason why I jailbroke um is um to browse the files on on here like an Android device. So there we go. Um I don't know I actually don't know why Apple hasn't got its um a f like a factory default um I uh, find a app like on the Mac. I think they should have it especially for an iPad because an iPad is a convenient um is a convenient mini computer. Um also as I can say is um as well if you're on a PC or Mac you get a pro you get programs like I find uh, like the explore net to browse uh for your 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 i device on there but if it's if it's um jailbroken you can actually go to root the root access and all that but um you don't really need that just for the basics but um um uh, but the main reason why it is it to have the, the the to browse your thing so you can actually so when your photos and things get full on here like when you've taken I've taken photos on my iCloud on my iPhone, it goes to the cloud, and it downloads to my Mac, and then on the tablet syncs. And then, um, when this device cause gets full, um, because I've got thirty two, yeah, I can actually later on in the future get a hundred twenty eight gig uh, one for files and things. Um, so the, what I do is um, when it gets full here, yeah, I will do a bit of cleaning. So it's nice to keep. Because uh, um, I've got I've got four gigs free out of sixteen here, so it gives me four gigs for like editing and things like that, like uh, temporary storage and all that. But my main storage would be on here, so I can now copy files from here onto there, and it's not just photos and videos; it's all files like documents and things like that, and. Um, uh, which would, would you could only do with an Android, but if you jailbreak, you can do it with the uh, i device. Um, I wouldn't recommend. Well, basically, I wouldn't re recommend jailbreaking your tablet if you use your banking apps on here, because um, um, most of them uh, don't actually work on jailbroken devices. So. Um, because they believe there's security issues and all that, which I think is a load of hype. Um, because apparently you can get uh, jailbroken security options, which are actually sometimes better than the original Apple's. So, there we go. Um, so, yeah, I just need, that's, that's one way, is you have to jailbreak... Um, your um, iPad or i or for iPhone and that if you want to go there. Um, I don't personally don't want to jailbreak my iPhone because I I I don't really need that option on on a phone. Uh, but on a tablet you want to have it running like a little mini computer. Um, because it's convenient to take it. Say if you go um, out in the field. Um, say if you're doing research and you're doing data counting and things like that, um, like in the biology research and things like that, um, it's much easier to take the iPad than the, the MacBook because you can just it's easier to carry it small even when you're camping and all that, um, and you want to have a mini computer. Um, that's what actually a tablet is supposed to be like on Star Trek and all these things. It's a mini computer that does the jobs, can do the job of a, uh, just the basics of a, a standard computer. And um, I just don't like, and in order to have a, like a mini computer, you've got to have a decent file browser. 
And I don't understand, that's what I don't understand about Apple is they don't have a, a finder for the um, iPad, which is, is alarming because you can't access the documents and all that. You, you're forced to rely on um, cloud services, uh, the default, of, um, well, the factory default, which is the iCloud. You can get Dropbox, uh, you can get Mega, which is about 50 gigabytes. Um, if you're in the field, um, you don't always have a Wi-Fi connection unless you're at a, 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 a restaurant or a cafe. But you could be in the middle of the Hamadulus, which means the, the bush or the woods, or and you're taking data and samples, or you, you, you're just jotting notes and things like that on whatever kind of work you're doing. And... Um, uh, you, you you have you, and you're using it as a mini computer. Um, you need um, some sort of file management system, and um, it, it just blows my mind. And and you're not always on a cloud system because you they you'd say oh you use the cellular, you're like I've got like a cellular option like say 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 you know but it would only be suffice for me with England or maybe Europe I don't know. But if I go down to South Africa or or any other places, I can't use the cell cellular network. It wouldn't it wouldn't work. And if I had to put on roaming charges, it used to be bloody expensive. Um, it's just impractical. Um, so you have to uh, think. And I've also got other programs. I've also got an open office uh, software. Um, as well as the, the the default pages and that, which is relies on iCloud, I still haven't found out where the um, the the keynote pages and all that store files are. They, you got to browse really hard with this. Um, it's not really Apple doesn't. You know, you know, you got the doc. You actually got a documents uh, folder there, but it doesn't load it in there. It loads it somewhere else. So you got to browse a lot, um, and then you what do you do when you eventually find out where they're stored? You bookmark it, <clears throat> just to make life easier in the future. But um, I've also got um, another program, which is like an office type program. Um, not the. Uh, I think I put it in with all the keynote stuff and all that. The pages and the keynote. Well, that's books. Um, where I put it? I'll put it somewhere. Yeah, I've put it out just because I changed the icons. I was looking for the newish icons. Right. Um, yeah, Docs Unlimited. That actually opens like almost like a PC, uh, PC one. And it also gives you a bit of a browser. And I was going to find out where they store the, the documents. Because it doesn't store it in the, the My Documents thing. Um that one as you can say um so you go new doc you go text document i don't want to a new doc let's call it that okay so it loads it up and it's and it's like a proper desktop you can see it's like a desktop one with um, what's uh, Libria Office, which is a line Linux version of Office, so I've got that as well. So that's all handy to have and everything. So one other thing is um, is the file manager. You can move files and that. That's why you jailbreak. So that's why I. So I'm quite happy with it, and I'm planning to have this <coughs> for life. Um. Um, as long as I don't up well, basically I think it would be able to take iOS nine and a jailbreak version of that. 
probably up to 11 but i think I, I think i'll just keep it at eight just to keep it running smooth and all that just to do things um i don't really it's not like my iphone which uh, i need to update for the banking programs and things like that so it just uh, so it will just do what i need to do with that so yeah um and i just want to have it for life until it breaks you know it becomes non-usable then i'll probably get a new one well i will get a new one then but um which i had originally planned for that but with um, android and samsung uh, making it that you cannot roll back or uh, um what you call it downgrade because of changing the bootloader and all that you know you might as well throw it in the dustbin, but I'm not. I'm, I'm doing it. Get, I want. I can only get two, twenty pounds out of it, which would pay for some of the apps that I used on here or, or this device, because this was like about twenty pounds. Anyway, so that, that's what I'll I'll do, and and that's what I have to say. Um, because many people say you you can't. Um access the files like an android device on an ipad you can if you jailbreak it and that's that's what um, the option that's the reason why to jailbreak if to get more um to use it more like a mini computer because it's not a phone it's not a a, a phone it, it is a proper mini computer and you want the functionality of a file manager and you need that for like a mini computer and that's that's what i got to say because i found it quite ridiculous that i uh, not i <laughs> i this i that i shit <laughs> um that apple um hasn't got one and you really need it for like managing your documents and pictures and put it <sighs> anyway that's what i got to say at this moment okay um